Hi, we'd like to welcome you to our last show eclipse at the Blue Well Gallery in the Sculpture Studio. It's kind of a happy, sad uh, time for us. I mean, we're happy to be showing our work again, but it's sad uh, that we have to close our doors due to the expansion of the shipyard here in Victoria. Uh, we call it Eclipse because uh, in a way it's like the end of one era, but also the beginning of a new era. So when the moon passes past the sun, the sun will shine again. I'm excited that we can do our show with David and Laurie again. They've been regular exhibitors at the, the gallery here. I've got some beautiful new work by David and Laurie and then some of my sculptures as well. And I think it's a fitting um, kind of, I was going to use the word epitaph, but it's a fitting uh, end show, I think, for the gallery here today. So this is some of David's uh, recent paintings, some landscape. We've got a moorland uh, using very Turnerish Constable style of painting. And, uh, and again, as we move along, we'll see more of David's forest light painting series that he produces. Again, very enigmatic but mysterious uh, quality to his work. Uh, tremendous play on light and atmosphere. And um, I wanted to ask David a question about his work, because there's definitely a progression in, in his painting. And uh, so David, how are you? Good, thank you. Right, good to see you again. David, I was really curious about your latest painting. There's, um, I don't know, there's just something about it that I think is more evolved and developed than some of your other work. It's, can you tell me a bit about the inspiration or your, or um, your thinking behind that? Not really. It is the same kind. It is a similar, it's the same process. Yes. Except it's just moved a little bit further along. That, that's, that's all, you know. Yeah. Trying new things and, and trying to get more to the essence and the simplicity of what I'm doing. Trying yes. to simplify things yes. and get to the core of, of what's there. It seems more, to me, it seems more mature and evolved in that you've already seem quite certain about the direction you're going in in the work and, and maybe that's subconscious well thank you <laughs> maybe that's subconscious but it just seems to be resolved very simply but effectively you know in the way you've captured the light yeah sim simplicity is the way to go it is probably one of the most difficult things in fact maybe the most difficult thing in in painting yes. for me anyways yeah is to get that simplicity um so it's just a question of um just keep going, just keep working at it and, and, yeah. and keep studying and looking and thinking about it and, and it, it changes and you just have Great. to see how it changes without forcing it into any kind of um, yeah. change. You know, you write signature, it's kind of, mm -hmm. the signature develops but you're not trying to actually work on what your signature sh should look Absolutely. like and, unless you're an idiot, you know. Yeah. So it well, just, it is evolving and it's... Well, you definitely have a signature place. style well, and I you. think that's very, very apparent. Wonderful, thank you. Well said, thank you very much. I just wanted to briefly add with David's work just because I'm, I'm around him so much when he's working and so much of it is this passion that he has for color and paint and landscape and just bringing those together into a painting. Those things just drive him so much and it's just, he has this absolute love of of one color next to a color and how they interact and just bringing light out. And so there's a real a real love and a passion of paint and landscape that just come together in his paintings. And I think they just get better and better. Hi, this is my piece uh, called Silent Memories. And uh, there's quite a few different influences behind this. Um, obviously there's a Madonna feel to it. And I, I actually sculpted this after I came back from Italy, a trip I, I made out there. And um, so you have like the headdress and then of the other elements here is that there's some chain and fragmentation in the piece too. And with a lot of my work, um, it's not just about what you see, but it's what you don't see, the, the, the story, the narrative behind it. And um, so in, in what I'm trying to do here is capture something about the human spirit and what's going on inside the person. And the title of this, as I mentioned, is called Silent Memories. And so it's a whole thing of reflection and how we internalize things that happen to us and how we deal with it. The chain itself could be seen as something that's either eaten away into the body, or it can actually be seen as something that's been a supportive element of the body. Um, from a more artistic element too, I like to play with abstraction and I like to see how far I can take the figure and distort it and still portray that, that image. Um, this one here, I think, you know, the, the frame itself is quite an integral part of the piece as well. And it reminds me of like a cathedral or some kind of church structure. So again, it's definitely a play on that spiritual dimension of, of um, how religion is, plays a part in people's lives. And again, 
you could maybe see it as a support or something that wraps you up somehow and traps you. Um, what has happened in her life, we really don't know. And I, I like to leave enough for the viewer to kind of make up their own interpretation of that. Um, most of what I do just starts with a sense of feeling and emotion, and I don't overthink it. It's not like I have a divine plan of how it's going to turn out. And uh, so I'm always surprised myself when things come out and just, uh, with this piece, I think there's an intensity, but also hopefully a sereneness um, as she reflects on the things that have happened to her. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I like it. It's, I think it's a, for me, I, I think it's one of my most favorite pieces that I've made.